what's good youtube this video gonna be up kind of early like in the morning but damari carroll got traded to the nets he basically a salary dump for the nets he's gonna be a aspiring contract in the next couple years he might even get bought out if he don't get bought out he's gonna have to play one more season then probably get bought out and if that don't happen <laughs> he might just collect the check until his contract is over get some decent playing time and try to resurrect this career if he stay with the Nets for the, the next two years. But they traded for him just to use some of the, some of the ca uh, salary cap, and then they probably gonna get rid of him eventually. But they they actually just wanted to get the picks. I know he got a a huge double digit salary. He's not really producing for the worth that he got. Obviously, when Toronto picked him up, they didn't think he was going to decrease that much. They didn't think he was going to be injured so much and being a bust. Because when they signed him, hey, this dude been getting better every season. He, he's working hard. He's a good knockdown shooter. He's a solid, long, athletic defender. They see no injuries has took course. You can't really predict it. And they see, you know, the dude getting traded <laughs> for Justin Hamilton in two picks. It makes sense for the Nets because they traded all their picks in the Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce trade. And now they're trying to get picks back. They got picks from the Lakers. Now they got a first round and a second round pick from the Toronto Raptors. Even though they're not going to be high picks because the Raptors are going to be good, they still better than having nothing. Because like I said, you've seen Giannis, you've seen Patrick McCall, Draymond Green, Isaiah Thomas. These are people that was picked below top 10. And you can still get a decent player at 21, 28. You can still get, a, like, Patrick McCall, 35, Draymond Green, Isaiah Thomas. There's a lot of solid players that got drafted after the lottery or in the second round. So if the Nets do right by scouting, if they do right by finding players that fit their system or finding young players that they have, they see potential in and help develop them to become stars or good role players or even a superstar, or they can even package this together and get another pick if they package another one of their players. They got D'Angelo Russell. The guy can play. The, doc, the guy got potential. The ball going to be more in his hands because he's a scorer. And he's probably their best player now that's on the roster. And if he ain't, he one of them. So he's going to get up a lot of shots. And then if you lose, you still get your, your normal pick. And then you still get the Toronto picks plus your other pick. So the Nets had to find a way to get picks, so they had to take a bad contract, but it ain't going to really hurt them in the end because they got to spend the salary cap anyway. And now they can just get a person that's going to take their salary cap up, and then it's going to be going in the next year or two, and they're going to have the salary cap right back, and then they get two picks in return. This don't really hurt the Raptors because Norman Powell already replaced uh, Damari Carroll at the small forward position. He can play stretch four or the three. He can shoot the three. He he athletic. He can dunk. He can finish. He can shoot decent amount of free throws. So they already found really a replacement for Demari Carroll in Toronto. They still got Bruno. We don't know what he's gonna be. They gotta get ready to pay him though. And you know sometimes Demar DeRozan can play the, the small forward too because he's six seven. He got like an inch or two less than six eight six nine but he he's long and athletic enough to play the three if necessary obviously they got rid of terrence ross but they got serge Ibaka. so this team's still gonna be solid they don't really need demari carroll he doesn't really play that much anyway and now they got a replacement in norman powell and and now they can keep Corey joseph and stuff like that so this really helps the raptors because it, it frees them up of salary cap they might not even keep Justin Hamilton, and if they do, he'd just be a backup big, which they really don't need because they got Jakob Hurdle. So the Raptors are stacked, and they got a chance to be Cleveland if an injury goes their way, if they play the right way, if people can step up, they have a shot of beating Cleveland. But on paper, I'm saying. But if they lose like they did last year in four, even though they didn't have Kyle Lowry, then this team going to be stuck. Cause all these salary, all these salaries that they gotta pay, and then they gotta pay Powell, then they gotta pay these other guys that's coming up on their deals. It's like, hey, we gonna be stuck if we gotta pay all these people their money, and we might be stuck like this for a while.
So comment, like, subscribe, Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis. Signing out. Check out my website, analysisplayground.com. It's in the description in the comment section below. Also check out my Facebook page, analysisplayground.com. All you gotta do is click the link and it'll send you to the website or it'll send you to the Facebook page. If you go to the Facebook page, all you gotta do is like it just to show support. And it's Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis signing out. This could be a good trade for both teams. And then we'll see what happens in the future.